Well, a fentanyl scandal has rocked a school for students with special needs. Tonight, a school worker and her husband are under arrest, and a student is recovering from an overdose. KKL 9's Nicole Comstock is live in Riverside with more on this disturbing incident at Bright Futures Academy. Nicole? Well, Pat, a former employee tells us that she spoke up about abuse she saw happening here at the school years ago. And tonight, she's one of several parents calling for the school to be shut down. It's a school that serves students with special needs and severe behavioral problems in Riverside. But a former employee tells us those vulnerable students weren't safe when she worked at Bright Futures Academy. They're supposed to be safe when they get to school. They're supposed to be safe and bright futures. Nothing bright about that place. It is dark. Brittany says she worked there mostly as a bus driver for four years and that she finally had to quit in 2017 because of the abuse and neglect she witnessed firsthand. There was no safety for them, so they'd be in restraints for some of some of them for the whole period of time that they were at school, six hour restraints. So she was horrified to see that another bus driver at the school named Melissa Harlow Garrison was arrested this week. Riverside police say she gave the deadly opioid fentanyl to about a dozen students on campus, one of which overdosed a week prior and had to be revived. Investigators were tipped off by other employees here, and after they searched Harlem Garrison's cottage on campus, they found 100 fentanyl pills, two guns, and lots of ammo. And I'm wondering if maybe they were using the fentanyl as a form of a restraint for the kids. It's kind of the energy I'm picking up on this. Court documents revealed Harlow and Garrison allegedly used three children to sell the fentanyl. All of the students are reportedly doing okay now. But one mother wrote on Facebook, my child was a victim. Also, the school was withholding information from me. It wasn't until the detective showed up, he informed me about what was going on. Well, Harlem Garrison's husband was also arrested for having a gun here on campus, which he was legally not even allowed to own. Now, his wife is scheduled to appear in court on Monday, and Bright Futures Academy is working on sending over a statement to us, so we'll keep you posted about what they have to say about this as soon as we hear back from them. Reporting live tonight in Riverside, I'm Nicole Comstock, KCAL 9 News.